Welcome. Yo, yeah, we back. We, we back. back. Welcome, welcome, out welcome, of my head welcome. podcast. Yeah, you are now watching yeah, out of my head. Today we we got a, a a special guest in the building. I ain't that special, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll be here every day. No, I'm just nah, nah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you be here every day, nah, yeah. Facts, but facts, facts. definitely, definitely. Love your opinions and yeah, all man, stuff, thanks man. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. Of course, yeah. of course. It's, it's a of pleasure, course. man. Thanks yeah. for having us. That's how you be polite. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us first. <laughs> nah, nah. That's why we're the first guest. It's, it's, it's good to have you on. You feel me? I feel like we got a lot of good topics to cover today. Um, interested to hear all you guys' perspective on them. Definitely. Uh, you know. Definitely. How's everybody's week, first off? Oh, week was good, you know, so far. Half, you know, halfway through it, I guess, in a sense. I ain't do shit. I was shit. meant since last week. Oh, since last yeah, week? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I ain't do shit. What the fuck somebody really supposed to say when you say that? Like, are you supposed to unload on a nigga and tell him how <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit Yeah, yeah. It, it, it depends. depends. It depends. <laughs> you be like, yo, I wish I ain't asked. It, it depends. depends. Yeah, it how it how this happened, that happened. Was. What you supposed Because you really go through everything that happened, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, what the fuck? What should <laughs> I say? Like, yeah. Should I count this one in? Nah, should I count that one in? Yo, first, this happened, and then I fell down the flight of stairs, and then... This like this week really fucking sucked. Yeah, <laughs> like, like damn. Ima- like, imagine how different the world would be if every time somebody said, "How, how are you are doing?" You? Somebody told the truth. Told the truth. Ooh. Instead of just God saying, damn, "I'm I, good." The, I'm the world. No, you know what? It'll be a lot down. longer. Everything is shut down. I really don't know. Yeah, but instead, when somebody say, "That's a good perception," when somebody say, "How you doing?" You be like, "How you doing?" Right. Because that's all. It's just a way of saying. No, I thought the answer is like, "Great." How you doing? No, no, no. But people would just be like, "But how you doing? How you doing?" The and no one ever said that. The closest, right you back. Get, that, the closest you get to before somebody just be like, "I'm doing all out bad." It's niggas like, "I'm maintaining." Facts. Y'all can't call it. 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 can Great. It'd be the worst week you yeah. have having, right? Yo, nah, so the answer facts. is you never, ever you never tell me what <laughs> answer the question, don't, don't, honestly. Nah, you never do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can't. Yeah. So I, I got y'all some cigars. The acid, back to the original, the first cigar the that we all drink. Nah, this the acid. Oh, acid. This is the first first cigars that we all um smoked together. Oh, you wasn't That's with us at the um at my I had this father's one before, day cookout. Though. You did. You yeah. Did. But the Father's Day cookout, we was all on. Um, oh, that Father's Day, that was a pretty good one, had, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we had the acids. So, acid is like a basic ass bitch. Nah. It's, it's literally called blonde. Like, <laughs> it literally says blonde on I, this I shit. I don't cat. know much about cigars. Can you split these and roll weed? Nope. No. No. Why? What was I feel like you, if no. you're a skilled roller, you no. probably can't. No, so you split can't. your shit right now, Omar. No, because no. no. he will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between that and the Dutch? All right, so it's it's the um the wrap. So a Dutch is like it's a leaf, right? This is just. You got the leaf and you got the uh, what's that part on the inside? It's some so sort of paper, the cancer paper, right? Yeah, that, that's so what they call the cancer you paper. You don't, yeah, got, for sure. you don't got that on the inside. Yeah, it's it's nothing but leaf, and then there's like a uh, some type of glue, some shit like that. I forget what they call it, but it's like six different parts on the inside, and when you start unraveling it, they don't stay together. So if you split it down the middle, the whole shit will fall apart. Do the because it's layered. <laughs> so Yo, what, what, I, I, I think what he's trying to say it? too is, is that it's layered leaves. We trying to educate the hood. Yeah, because I'm, I'm layered sure, leaves I'm sure upon, it's a nigga out there leaves. somewhere that's like, when I get my money up, I'm, I'm gonna go, go buy a good ass cigar <laughs> and I'm gonna smoke weed out that shit. <laughs> no, I'm not ready to do that. Yeah, so no, you might be able to do the thing like you used to do with the Dutchess where. Remember you, you, you stole it, you freak it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, hollow them out. you hollow them out. You yeah. hollow them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stuff the Philly up. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you hollow them out and then you <laughs> 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 not with rag. You used to stuff the Philly with rag, yo. Definitely was yeah. rag. <laughs> Damn, that rag I don't, yeah, yeah, that was some, that was something else, yo, Good when you first rag. started, right? <laughs> Arizona. God damn. Yeah, that's what they didn't want to say. Arizona rag. No more. rag. It. It's that air. Uh, that uh, air. Uh, <laughs> it's the good <laughs> stuff. Straight backyard boogie. <laughs> <laughs> you can grow it anywhere. Yo. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, All right, so we got the cigars down. What we what we sipping on, Omar? Uh, since, you, since you're the, so uh, I brought today was this uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter whiskey. Screwball. Screwball. 
Yeah. If um That's a pretty uh funny choice of a name. Yeah. That is a funny <laughs> choice of a screwball. Screwball. I mean we we are all screwballs wait, wait, at wait, one point. A moment of pause. Yeah, I want my review on it. <laughs> yeah. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Hit him okay. with it. It's smooth. It actually do have a hint of peanut butter in it, which is actually a good flavor. I'm a nigga that like peanut butter a lot. So mm. for me, this is like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You could taste like You could really, taste it. Yeah, so yeah. I remember I told you I was with the white boys that time. They made me mix this with the uh, with the, with the the Great Welchers. And they basically said it's like peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly. and jelly drink. Peanut butter and jelly. You know yeah. what I mean? Peanut so butter jelly it's a, nice, it's a nice little drink to have. I mean, this is not terrible. I'm usually looking for something that you could kind of drink with your food a little bit because you nah, know. Nah, definitely because um, I, yeah, I, I, I believe going with, with, with some ice in it and you mm -hmm. just put it laid down there with some ice in it. And this is a little sweet it. though. It yeah. is sweet. I, I could see this going food. with like a, a risotto. Mm. Oh. I got a risotto? I, no. The I wine? No, no, no. no. Oh. The rice. Yeah. Oh. I'm, Every, I'm thinking about ris risotto, something like that. What's, what's the wine shit? Moscato. Moscato. <laughs> <laughs> right, See, about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. What yeah. the wine shit, but yeah, it's yeah. it'll actually be something good. Like you ever, you know how sometimes people bake with alcohol. Mm -hmm. yes. Alcohol. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be something you throw in like it's a peanut butter cookie yeah. or something. It'd be like a rum oh, cookie or something. That shit probably be wings. Busted. Wings? Oh, yeah, definitely with some wings. Like wings? A peanut butter or barbecue or something, something like yeah, that. that yeah. So, see, I so people be taking wings and putting like peanut butter and jelly. Like, you, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah I, do I, drop, I, got the drop peanut got butter and jelly yeah, wings. Yeah, yeah. I hate nah. that shit. Yeah. But I could marinate some wings with this Pe shit. Like a peanut yeah. butter glaze, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some, throw like a, probably not garlic, but some type of dry rub on top of that shit, you know? Maybe even a ranch dry rub. Huh? You got to try it out and see. You got to try it out and see. Because I'm Cause tasting you never know. it. You I never can't know. say no. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go in the crib Because you don't even really. You yeah. got to have three sources and be like, which one of these is hitting? Yeah, experiment with the <laughs> shit. Yeah, nah, we're, we're. Because who came up with Hennessy wings? Because Hennessy doesn't taste good and I don't want Hennessy <laughs> in my food at all. Hold up, you're upsetting like a lot of, lot of diggers right <laughs> now. <laughs> I was an avid Hennessy drinker for like 15 years straight, bro. I, I like started a high school with the mm -hmm. Hennessy. And then one day I woke up and was like, this shit not good. Nah, I drank Hennessy for like a good this two shit months. Nasty. <laughs> this shit nasty. This shit nasty. I've never, mm -hmm. ever been a fan of Hennessy. That shit got ever. nasty. Drunk that shit for I like went two straight months. from VSOP to bourbon. <laughs> I used to, I used to, I went to Douce for a while, then you do your Remy's and everything else. I used to hate tequila. In the past year and a half, maybe since pandemic hit, maybe my taste buds have matured. Yeah, I think I tried a lot of shit on fucking on nah, the pandemic. I, I joined a lot of people tried a lot of shit at the it, pandemic. It, it, he was at home. The fuck else you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, I joined the army and tried everything, nigga. I was in vodka, fucking gin, bourbon, oh, whiskey. You got a pretty funny vodka story in the army. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gonna tell that story. Yeah, right I'll tell it right now. <laughs> shit. <laughs> we gotta get into the topic. Yeah, give nah, us, a, nah, give nah, us nah. a short snippet of it. Um, me and a battle buddy, we bought a big ass bottle of fucking Grey Goose, mm -hmm. and everybody was going out to like Hooters and shit. Let's just say we finished the bottle before you got to Hooters. Oh, shit. And hilariousness ensued. <laughs> that nigga's in the army buggy. Y'all supposed to be protecting <laughs> the country. woke up in the hospital. And these are the guys that was not true. That was not what happened. We supposed, to put, up in a supposed to put our like, faith in you this. niggas when That's Elliot not show up and happen. all that other shit. Oh, <laughs> Y'all niggas out here drunk up. He oh, making shit up. Yo, he woke yo, up in the hospital. That's a different story. I thought y'all niggas like, yo. I'm in a hospital. <laughs> that's not even. That's not even the same story. I thought y'all niggas is military. <laughs> oh, like that's the same story. Not the same story. Hell, that ain't military. Yo. I thought y'all niggas could fight like the movies and shit, and it ain't none of that. <laughs> oh I, nah, I, I, I got some. I got some stories about the military yeah. that we'll get into later. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> get your ass. Hell yeah. You know what they ain't worried about my ass. Off, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? He's on a podcast. I ain't gonna tell yeah. no time. He, he was gone. He got that nigga up out of here. Yo, if something happened to me, you know who it was. You know who it was. No, we don't. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell me that shit. Yeah, they going to come yeah, for yeah. us. I don't want no smoke. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm talking about nah. the viewers, not telling <laughs> niggas. Yeah. Yo. yeah. All, right, All right, so let's get into it, y'all. So we got a couple topics. Let's uh, get the slide. So the first topic of the day. Good friends or bad friends or good friends slash bad friends. When is it a good time to cut them off? So We're well, cutting off good friends too? What are you trying to say? So, so good friends, yeah, slash exactly. Girlfriends. Yeah, I mean, it got to be a good friend first sometimes, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know. 
So like, when when is it okay to cut somebody off, or when is it okay to not cut somebody off? Like, how far are you willing to let somebody go before it's like, yo, alright, I can't fuck with them no more. I'm not letting new people do anything mm. at this point. You kind of start like. I'm already weary of people because of the things that I've been through in life, and then I think, I feel and then I think a lot of a lot of friends that you, a lot of people that you like are friends with. You friends with niggas by default. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like yeah. a lot of niggas been your niggas forever, yeah. but as you grow a little bit in life, you start wondering, yo, what do I even have in common yeah. with these people? I met y'all recently, and I feel like in a lot of ways I got more in common with y'all goal wise and everything else yeah. than I do with people I grew up with forever. Yeah, yeah. But they my no, niggas right. by default yeah. because they never actually done anything but you never wrong cut them off, to me. Though, right? Facts. They never did Facts. anything yeah, wrong yeah. to me. It's just you start outgrowing people mm -hmm. to an, an extent. So it's not a I don't cut you off, but maybe we don't hang as much. Right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? I got this rule where it's True. like, and that's a good point. Like, what what is actually cutting them off? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Is it just limiting your exposure to them, or is it like completely ghosting them? It's not often I completely ghost anybody. I'm right. already an untalkative person to an extent. I got this thing with me where it's like if we don't do work together, we don't play together. You know what I'm saying? So we we come in here, we pod, we work, we edit video, we do things. So if y'all was like, "Hey, bro, we going out to the bar or something?" Da da da. Come fuck with us. Facts. I'm I'm coming. Word, yeah. Word, word, word. But if I don't make money with niggas. I'm not in the studio with niggas. I'm not doing work. Mm -hmm. I'm not leveling up and, and engaging in, in, you know, productive activity with niggas. You, I don't go play. You devalue yourself that I way. I don't go yeah, play. Yeah, if you, yeah, if, you, if do... you're around people, and again, not to like knock anybody else, but if you're around somebody and and no way they are valuing you, they're devaluing you. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if, if you don't bring... Who said this? Uh, What's that? Wallow. He's like, value. you don't bring value Wallow. to value. Yeah. You, you devalue value. 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 Nah, it works. Uh, that's like the truest fucking statement I heard. And yeah. that shit is real. Like you really gotta you gotta watch the, your surroundings. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it's tough. It's tough when you what, what especially when you grow up with somebody, you don't wanna I think that's leave that connection. No, that's I the mean, default. That's friends that's by kicker. default. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's been my nigga. That's my nigga from the day one. And he ain't yeah. do nothing wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He's just not doing what I need him to be doing now for me yeah. to overinvest that time. Yeah. You get some friends that's stuck in the past. I got some friends that's like, I damn, I do. wish it was just how it was in 06. Oh, I six, wish yeah. it was how it was right, 2011. Does it, does it matter like, the nigga. situation, though? Or let's put it like this. If you say you just had a kid, you're 21, just had a kid, and you was hanging with your boys heavy, but then now you got, you got responsibilities now. At 21, I think life is completely different. It's hard to even put it in a... No, but you thought about, not, like, I have to worry about my job and my family. And you had that mindset, in a sense. I, th I think priorities come into it. Priorities. No priorities how definitely, old you right? Are, you know what I mean? So that's a part of your value, right? Yeah, so, right, so, right, right. so, boom. At 21, I think that's something to consider. But I think once... Or, we, or even a, 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 a right now. Well, I'm about to, but that's what I'm about to say. Once you, I think you don't really become a true... I think you start your real adult phase at, like, 25. Yeah. I think everything pre twenty start to click. Pre twenty, yeah, pre yeah, twenty five. Yeah, you've been through so much shit already. To be in college still. And then when you, true. And when you look back at some of them niggas, you realize at twenty one you feel grown, but a lot of niggas is still mm -hmm. children yeah, mentally. Yeah, you like yeah. two years, two three you're years out of baby. high school, you still a baby. Yeah. So after twenty five, now we start judging a man based off of his values, his morals, his responsibilities, his and everything else. Because as of now, at the age that we all at, nigga, we grown as fuck. Nigga, you should be taking care of your kids. If you my mans and you don't take care of your kids, you ain't I can't even fucking hang with you. You're not my mans, yeah, 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 Because you're weird. Facts, yeah. how, how are you okay with not taking care of your kids? So for me, it's like, Nine times out of ten, if y'all niggas start coming to the studio more often, you're going to realize, hey, that nigga tone sign here all the time. I already realized that. Yeah. His son, his son yeah. is here all yeah, the time, right. bro, because I feel like that's what you should do. To the point where I pick up kids that I coach in sports regularly. Mm -hmm. I pick up my friends' kids. I do certain things. So I feel like when you start talking about good and bad friends, right, I used to live a lifestyle where I could go to jail at any point in time. Somebody could knock me off at any point in time. Who going to take care of my son? Who going to look out for my son if I'm not here? Who going to... All these niggas that he called uncle... Are y'all really gonna show up? And yeah. Do certain yeah. things. You know what See, I'm saying? Yeah. Change when that responsibility that shit start changing. It's like, your yo, like, like before, be, before having any type of kids or anything like that. It's like, all right, if something happened to me, 
It don't matter. Whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just me. I don't got nothing out here. You know, my mom going more and probably something like that, whatever the case is. But mm-hmm. after that, like, it's not like she need me to take care of her. You know what I'm saying? Like, she don't need me to raise her. So my, my kid, oh, nah, he going to be, I'm, I'm fucking his life up if I fuck up my life. You know nah, what I'm definitely. So you, you really, you, it changes the moves that you make. So, the, so you pretty much grow on your friend's. And not leave yeah. them behind, but so, you're still involved, right? And, yeah. Because well, you're you, not cutting I mean, them you off. Should, you shouldn't. But that's a good friend because a good yeah. friend is a good friend is. Yo, ain't your son about the same age as my son? Oh yeah, let's hang I out. I always got yeah. my son. Yeah. They yeah. should hang. Yeah, because I'm gonna be with you, so they should hang. They should facts. know each other. Mm-hmm. That's how friends grow. So now we work together, we parent together, we build together. Yeah, facts. A lot right, of that, my, a lot of my other brothers. Yeah. What I started doing is I started coaching sports, and I started grabbing all my friends that was ex players. And say, yo, come come join the staff. So this way, as bros, we get to build together yeah, yeah, on something and be successful. Mm-hmm. But we also get to raise our sons together mm, and facts. have them in the mix of doing something. And that's a good friend. Like, a good friend is going to bring opportunity to your life. Does it but matter if it was a... All right, so if, for instance, in your 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 situation, it was two, two boys. Does it matter if it was a girl? Even if it's a little girl, you figure out a way... Oh, to incorporate okay. certain things. If, if 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 you my bro and you got a daughter and you like, yo, my daughter got a little pageant or something today. Yeah. I'ma pop up, bro, because mm. you my bro. So I'm a support I support you, she so I support your kid. Yeah. True, that's, true, that's, true. that's what being a good friend is about, bro. Yeah, and I think true. a lot of people don't understand how to just be good people. That's the problem. I think, that's I think that's where problem it with people. It, it, it does so. start that way, but I feel like it's more like they trying to put up a a barrier, maybe? Or not a barrier. What do you mean by that? Not my, not a barrier, but um, in a sense of front, like some because like you're not you're not gonna send your kids to the dude that drinking every day, <laughs> fucking <laughs> like you know, <laughs> and doing. What the fuck you trying to say? No, all right, all right, all right. What the fuck? If you're a responsible dude, yo, I swear to God, you gonna send your kid to a trap house. No, nah, no, you, no. you, you right, said drinking not, every day. Yeah, you, but yeah. the trap house, do you drink every day in the trap house? I drink every day. So Yeah, but listen, you don't have a trap house. It's, you ain't start I, with that. <laughs> you start you start you start, you start, you start, <laughs> you start gauging a person's You start level gauging a person. But nah, he's still word, a good word. dude though. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, to you. He's he's a good dude to well listen. To it's you, not about to you. It's irresponsible. It's irresponsible as a parent to send your kid. To the trap house. Yeah, that is true. It's irresponsible. Yeah, and I did say that in the beginning <laughs> so, so, a little so, bit so too. So you gotta be not irresponsible. So regardless of if the nigga's a good dude or not, they still a trap not house. Not if you gonna be at the trap. <laughs> it's like, yo, I know he ain't gonna let nothing happen to him, but in reality, he might mentally not want nothing to happen. He might we jump in front of a bullet. We don't know what's gonna happen at the trap. Yeah, he might. <laughs> yo, look, he, he might jump in front of a bullet for him. It's called but the trap. The fact is, he <laughs> it's it's called the trap. trap. Yeah. The fact is, he put your kid in danger. By having two jobs. But you in front needed of the that. You yeah. needed you know that. You needed his help for that day. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you some shit. So, It'll be awesome. I'm curious. I should, I, should be, I should be able to call that person if I really need it and say, hey, bro, can you come take to a, my can, house? Come to my house. Yeah. You can take yeah, a couple yeah, hours. Cool, 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 you can cool, 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 come to my house. Yeah, yeah, facts. Nah, nah, nah. And more because it's like, all right. Cool. I can trust you in my shit. Yeah. He really I can trust you in my shit. I can trust you in my shit. Cool, 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 cool. See? All right. Yeah, see, there's different. I, so, but but that goes back to me and Blaze are saying. It starts with being a good person. I got to gauge you as a person. I, it's not too many people I've ever met in my life that I had a weird feeling about when I met them that somewhere mm. down the line didn't give me a reason to, have the to feeling, remember yeah. I had a weird feeling about you, mm-hmm. like, in my gut. And that's crazy. Like, they always say don't judge a book by its cover, but first impressions tell so much. You know what I mean, like we used to not hire people based off their first impression. Yeah, used to. Used <laughs> 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 to. I'm hiring niggas now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's hard for anybody to hire anybody right now, because <laughs> nobody wants to work. That's we. I think, I think, I nah, think nah. A whole other topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, a whole other topic. But yeah, yeah. How how do we conclude a good and a bad friend? So, all right. Now we gotta we gotta switch gears a little bit, right? A bad friend. At what point is it time to cut off a bad friend? Because he so showed friend, you good. So a bad friend isn't necessarily somebody who's doing you wrong, right? It's just somebody you don't need to be around. Okay. At what point do you say do you like? You know you you try to help him. Right? I mean, like, I... yo, let me let me bring you to the spot. Let me let me bring you to let me let me put you on to this. Let me. Like you just came home, type of shit. This but ain't you the, see, they got that still. I know this ain't the. I know this ain't the right analogy or the right phrasing for it. But I think you kind of gotta like give them enough rope to let them hang themselves. 
You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta open the door, like you said. Let me put you on. Let me show you the spot. Blah blah blah. You gotta give them the ball, but if they can't make the play, it's it's you know almost what I mean? it's almost like saying right. They say you can't help somebody that don't want to help themselves. Exactly. Right? But how many times am I supposed to help try to help you for you to give me ass to kiss before I say, okay, figure it out on your own? Yeah. How many times? Ooh, I think. I that's think, so, deep. So when, that's when deep. Figure bro, it out on your own. That is fucking. Like what? At what point? I, you got to you 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 set your boundaries. Time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got to set your line. Like Dave Chappelle said, you gotta you gotta set your number and stick to it. Let's let's put it like this: the second the things that them people do or don't do start becoming taxing on you and what you got going on, it's time to start falling back or cut niggas off completely, and that's it. Yeah. Word. The second what you doing start affecting, affecting me. Yeah. It's affecting me, yeah. yeah. Fuck out of here. You notice that shit? So yeah. fuck out of here. So Period. the minute you try like he got into some shit and you saved his life, that's the last time I'm seeing you. Ah, oh, you see, yeah. wait, wait, because that affects you. We talking about a whole nother. But that life. affects yeah. you, bro. <laughs> that affects you. Nah, definitely. In a way, because you're not, you, think, you wasn't like that now, at now, that point. Now that's it's different, though. It's you know what depending I mean? on what even, friend it is. Because I got I got some friends I've been through everything with. So it's like, nigga, to the day we die, nigga, yeah, I'll yeah. fight a lion for you. Facts, yeah, facts. That's no, my that, brother, that, nigga. That, that's I, my brother. Yeah, if we get mauled, we get mauled, I'll fight a lion for you. But it's other niggas where it's like, yo, <laughs> you cool. So what? what is, it, is it every time you chill with him? with the lion? Why are you with the lion? Why are you with the lion? Why are you with the lion? So coming back to my point, you know I mean? yeah. every time you chill with it, we always get into some shit. Yeah. yeah. What but the fuck, bro? Like, you got to chill with us, And, you got, and that's but, where you got to set your but, line. Set your you boundaries. Set your boundaries. Because it, it remember, remember, regardless of how much but you- But that's your man, Yeah, man. but you don't love everybody the same. Nah. And that's just the fact of the matter. Right. You don't love everybody the same. And I would never sit here and pretend like it's not levels to love. It's certain oh, niggas, yeah, yeah, it's certain yeah, niggas yeah, you're, right. you're gonna jump off a cliff behind to try to save, and there's some niggas you're gonna be like, damn, I knew that nigga was gonna jump off that cliff. You're like, why the fuck he, why the fuck he did that? I told that nigga a hundred times. Yeah, I told him all the time. <laughs> <cliff. laughs> my friend, but some niggas, some niggas, niggas you're gonna try to save, yeah. some niggas you're gonna have to let Because you gotta, you gotta realize, just, yo, like, I got, I got shit to live for. Like, it it kind of boils down to, like, you in a car with, with somebody. You know they're in that lifestyle. You ain't in that lifestyle no more. You you change. You 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 doing better for yourself. You trying to get your business going, whatever the fucking case is. And you in a whip with them, y'all get pulled over. You like, yo. Ah, it's about to be my, about third, to be my strike. third strike. You know what I'm saying like oh, at that point man. you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at his toe face. Toe's like, nah, I can't yo, do that. Yo, cause, I can't do this. Cuz listen. Cuz listen. The rule is this. Period. I did a when I was younger, bro. When I was like nineteen, going on twenty, I caught a robbery beef. Mm -hmm. Me and my other bro for two of my niggas at the time that was living in my crib, sleeping on the couch. And niggas ain't want to tell, and it's so more or less on some yo. If y'all niggas ain't telling, then y'all the conspirators. Y'all going down. Y'all going down for this. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then you catch your first felony. I don't graduate college because of this shit. Like, like you know what I mean? Certain shit going yeah, on. Mind yeah. you, I was a knucklehead, but mm -hmm. I was still trying to do good. Yeah. This, this is where shit started kind of hindering my Your growth progress. in my early 20s and late teens. You know what I'm saying? Because so, you didn't really get into that deepness then, of the, the style yet. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say, nigga, it was something I didn't do. So, yeah, you, <laughs> you, you, you supposed to take so, 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 so that, that so he's still ain't stitching. Like he still ain't stitching. If you, if you, <laughs> if you had a do over, how would you have done it differently? I would still if you have would've. to do it the same because you that's my integrity. Same. Because yeah, I, yeah. I, because I had to be able to stand on my name. I had yeah, to be nah, able to facts, stand on being facts. about what I said I was about, which was I'm not gonna tell on nobody. But what you gotta stand on as my man's is no. Hey, yo, if I'm providing you with somewhere to stay, when niggas need some of that pocket money, I'm hitting niggas off with something to something to get right. When niggas ain't got clothes, you wearing my shit, you sleeping on my couch, but y'all niggas gonna let me go to jail for yeah. something y'all knew y'all yeah, did. did. At yeah. that point, I had to look at niggas like, is these really my friends? Mm -hmm. This nigga can't be my friend because I'm ready to sit down for niggas. Mm -hmm. Me and bro not telling on y'all, we about to sit down for niggas, but niggas not ready to stand up for us. Mm -hmm. right. You know what word, I'm saying? Word. So they cutting off the the, the pretty they much cutting themselves off. So, That's yeah, they cutting word. themselves but, off but, at yeah. that point, but right? Then, but then you realize at that point, a nigga that you would have went out and did anything in the world for, die for, ride for, provide for, mm -hmm. he was a bad friend. 
Yeah. Because a good friend, yeah. a good friend would have said, yo, me and Greg in the car right now and I got the gun on me and they about to stop. A good friend goes, hey, bro, keep it a buck, hit the corner, I'm jumping out. Yeah. They chase me. They got to catch me with my own shit, but I'm not going to put this on you. Right. If they pull us out the car and find a gun, it's my shit because it's my gun. Yeah, real yeah, shit. You, you shouldn't have to, to go through yeah. the whole real court shit. process and all this other shit. None of that shit. Once yeah, I put yeah, somebody yeah, else in it, bro, I got to stand up on what, what I did, bro. I got to yeah, stand facts. up for what I did. Yeah. And I never had a problem with fighting the, the, the legal system or whatever for what I did. Real but shit. when you going down for what other niggas did... Then you start feeling like, damn, how many times yeah. we gonna do this? Because when yeah. I go do my own shit, I don't be here. Yeah. Every time I come out with you, it's I'm some, here. <laughs> some bullshit. That's what it is. So you cut that mean? motherfucker off. <laughs> cut that so, motherfucker sniff, off. Yeah. Yeah. So he cut himself off. So last question. I'm gonna kind of add on to what you just said. So re- take away the whole. The option is to tell, right? Okay. Is somebody so? It's still the same scenario. Y'all in the car. Yeah. Right? He, it's third strike. And he got his shit. He like, yo, I need you to take this for me. If you don't take it, I'll handle it. But if I take it, I got life. You take it, you might get like Probation. 10 years. You know what I'm saying? If it's but, your first but, offense. But, yeah, so let's, yeah, say, yeah. Let's, say you, let's say 10 years. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get 10, but you're going to miss out on time with your kid. That's 10 years. <laughs> Damn, Excuse you know me. Saying? That's a heavy ten, bro. That is that's, heavy, a, that's a heavy that's ten. A, that's a heavy. That's a heavy yeah, ten, especially at thirty. Because yeah. ten at thirty is not ten at sixteen. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. It's not ten at twenty. Yeah. No. Nope. And that's what I said. Remember, I said yeah. at twenty five, you start becoming a man. After twenty five, nigga, everything starts sounding different. After twenty five, it's like, nah, homie, you niggas. Take that. niggas <laughs> yeah, you good. You good. <laughs> I ain't coming to the trap nigga, house today, <laughs> man. Fuck bullshit, y'all. Niggas say, niggas say, take this quick five at nineteen. You like, yeah. I'm going to do 85. That's like four, four and a half. You like, I come home 23. That ain't shit. You go in for a quick five at 25. You like, nigga, I'm coming home 30. Yeah. You then the you, then, then reality start hitting. Yeah. It's like, nigga, I didn't accomplish any of the things that I was trying to accomplish mm-hmm. in life. I didn't start getting my shit started. You feel like niggas is supposed to be buying houses and doing certain things at 30. Uh, yeah, yeah, and facts. then you re- realize, yo, I spent most of my late teens to my 20s back and forth doing bullshit. Year here, six months there, two years there, some niggas longer, five, this, this, and that. And then you wonder why you behind in life. Mm-hmm. You behind in life because niggas Facts. got a, a six, seven year head start on you because you've been in and out, yeah. in and out the system. You, then you can't get you a job where you need to. Back, trying to you know what I'm that's saying? That's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Even you, you when you think about up. niggas traveling, Oof. a lot of niggas never yeah, really travel like until, that because you they couldn't get... travel. You oh, leave the state, nigga. He said, "Could it?" <laughs> your PO catch you out of the state traveling. Yeah, and something happened, and you and you ain't report that. Even if we say we about to slide to the city real quick, mm-hmm. you something happened in the city. Pop off in the city. Something happened in the city. You get hemmed up on some bullshit. You ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I should get back to your PO that you was in New York without permission. Shit. Yo, you violated because you had police contact. Even if you're not guilty or nothing, police contact is a violation, and you ain't telling me you was going nowhere. So guess what? I'll take this little quick six months real quick, just cause. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this is what a lot think, of niggas is dealing with. Like, right now, like one of those heroes <laughs> I won't say heroes, but like in the sense of like taking the time and not ratting now is what's what's it called it that just came out? Rod, Roddy Rowdy? Oh, Roddy Rebel. Yeah, Roddy, Roddy Rebel and this dude. And like, Bobby. And Bobby, yo. They I salute them for the, not doing none, none of that shit. But 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 remember. Yeah. The niggas was like 21, 22. Yeah, yeah. and that, 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 that's, why, that's, that's why I'm kind of trying to. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, yeah. it's nah, kind of uh, what he who said is true. When a nigga say take five, nigga say take five, or your man's gonna get twelve. This nigga gonna get thirteen, and it's this and that. Yeah. And then he was like, if you take two more years, everybody gets seven. Seven. It's yeah. A no, it's I was a like, no, there's no brainer. It's a no brainer yeah, yeah, at twenty. It's a no brainer at twenty one. I'm gonna do twelve more months, and we all gonna come home. We do some programs and some good time. I'm gonna still do like five anyway. Yeah. You know and what I'm saying? But all my niggas get to come home too. It's a no brainer at twenty one. And then put everybody on at thirty two. At thirty two, it'd be like, yo. That's crazy. Yeah. I need every month I can get. Nah, we're at home. You know what I'm saying? And it's not saying that you don't make the same decision. It's just a tougher decision to make. Mm. So then what you start realizing is a good friend 
ain't gonna keep put putting me in a position to make this decision. decision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I if I gotta go handle something, I'm okay with going to do some nut shit on my own mm-hmm. without involving other niggas because I know it's my nut shit. So when it happens, I gotta deal with the consequences of what I chose to do on my own. Uh, word, word. Yeah. All right, so let's wrap that up. I think we came to a kind of a conclusion on that. If he keeps on showing consistency of bad shit, then mm-hmm. yeah, it's time to go. Zip, mm-hmm. Really, so a bad it's your cuts number. Off. Yeah, so, he, he, he so wipes himself off. You never cut off a girlfriend. Think, you just move on. You grow yeah. up. Bad friend cut themselves off. Bad friends do cut themselves off. I got one last question before we, we wrap it up, though. Was a good friend ever really a good friend if they become a bad friend? Yes. People, people change. change. People change. People change. People change. Yeah. change. People f- or maybe you changed, and then he was a good friend when you was doing living a certain way. Yeah. Now and you're not living your life a certain changed, way. Yeah. You didn't fit. Yeah. Not All right. All right. That's the end All of right. that. That's real. Out of my head podcast. <laughs>